Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy Stewart and I am serving the churches of St. Andrew's Knox in Bristol and Starks Corners United Church. Today is day five of the world of the week of prayer for Christian unity. Our scripture verse for today is from Matthew 2 9. Ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising. And our theme is guided by the one Lord. I'd like to begin by lighting the Christ candle. In this season of Epiphany, the one Lord is made manifest in star, in fire, and in the glorious light that has come into the world. We light the Christ candle as a symbol that Jesus is still with us. He is with us in energy, in warmth, in light and life. And during this special week, we remember his words, his wish for his followers, that they may become one. We pray, O oh generous God, that our strengths and our differences be seen as your gifts and respected. May our different gifts work together to help make the world a just and peaceable kingdom. Amen. I'd like to begin by reading two pieces of scripture. The first is from the book of Exodus, chapter 13, and I'll be reading verses 17 and 18 and 20 and 21. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was nearer. For God thought, if the people face war, they may change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people by the roundabout way of the wilderness toward the Red Sea. They set out from Succoth and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went in front of them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them along the way and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light so that they might travel by day and by night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. And we'll turn to the Gospel of Matthew for our second reading, looking at chapter 2, verses 7 to 10. When Herod, then Herod, secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared, then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, Bring me word so that I may go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, and until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Yes, the one Lord guided Moses and the Israelites to the promised land. The one Lord guided the Magi from the east, representing all of those wise ones who seek the truth. He guided them to the promised one, the light of the world, Jesus Christ. The theme and scriptures for this whole week of prayer were chosen by the Middle East Council of Churches, which is based in Beirut, Lebanon. They chose the theme, we have seen his star in the east and have come to pay him homage. That's where they are, the Near East. More than ever in these difficult times, our brothers and sisters in the lands where Jesus and his first followers walked have faced very difficult times. They need now, as much as ever, more than ever, a star of hope or a light that shines in the darkness. In fact, the whole world, including Canada, also knows the darkness of war and threats of war, pandemic, political problems and instability, food insecurity, and natural disasters. We too look for a star of hope, a light to guide us. 
And that light Christians always have proclaimed is manifest in Jesus Christ. Now the whole worldwide family of Christians is very diverse. Our growing edges are in Africa, Asia, and Central America. And yet there are places in the world where it is not safe to be seen in a Christian church. A friend in Montreal had fled Turkey after someone he worked with had seen him leaving a Christian church. In fact, during my studies in Montreal, I met and prayed with beautiful Christian people from Costa Rica, from Nigeria, Cameroon, Sri Lanka, China, many different places, many beautiful people. And our local counselor was originally from Lebanon and he is a Maronite Christian, part of an ancient tradition that dates back to the 300s. Their language of worship is Arabic. Here in the Pontiac, we Christians are not quite so diverse. Many of us continue to practice the Christian tradition of our ancestors. Mind you, over the years, divisions have flared and caused hard feelings. We are at our best when we find a way to respect difference and concentrate on admiring and practicing the good work and worship of Jesus Christ. This week of prayer for Christian unity invites Christians of all traditions to deepen our relationships with each other and to live and witness together throughout the year. At a time when our society feels fractured and divisive, Participating in this special celebration encourages us to heal these divisions and yet continue to honour our diversity. I know I am enjoying getting to know the Pontiac clergy and the various ministries that their churches undertake. We know from our scriptures and from the long history of Christianity that one Lord does guide us, sometimes by an indirect route God loves us despite our failings and our discontent. We marvel at God who revealed the light of the world to foreigners from afar and then revealed it to us, revealed him to us. We marvel that the Magi persisted through a hard coming and worshiped the child when they arrived. We wonder, are there pillars of fire and cloud or a star to guide our way today? Because for us, the world is full of brilliant images and so much advertising. How can we recognize the light of Christ? Well, Christ has given us tools to discern God's way. The most important command remains, love God first and then your neighbors as yourself. He has told us that whatever we do for the least, we do for him. When we are choosing our path, what path to follow, those can be considerations that we take into account. Both the Israelites in the desert and the Magi from the east had to look up to see God's sign for them. That reminds me to lift up my eyes from day to day and spend time with God to see where God is leading. It encourages me to trust God with the big picture. It gives me a different perspective. We are walking with Jesus, our Savior and our friend. We are walking with 2.3 billion other Christians. We're not always in step with all of them, but we all aim to follow Jesus. We are pilgrims on the way. This week calls Christians of all traditions to deepen our relationships and to live and witness together throughout the year. Just now, our society is fractured. We have many differences with each other. But this special celebration encourages us to heal these divisions while respecting our differences. 2022, let us remember.
to look up. Join me in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the many colors, cultures, and customs that we share in this world as Christians. In our differences, unite us by your love. Enable us to act together to uphold life and to make this world a just and peaceful household for all humanity. O oh God, hear our prayer and grant us your peace. May it be so. Amen.